welcome everyone joining hi Jacqueline hi welcome everyone join I'm just sorting out the question for you we're gonna carry on doing uh, obviously I'm just gonna repeat the topic today the documents topic for the people they missed they missed uh, the topic today yeah uh, I'm just sorting out the question from the book guys yeah keep it up top in the screen guys I will be with you in a second Hi everyone. I'm just using the book tonight. <laughs> I'm just um, sorting the question for you. In this topic, there are around 30 questions. Uh, yeah. I'm going to be with you in a second, guys. Can you tell me what time your life starts? I just start right now. <sighs> That's the time I can offer, guys. I'm really sorry because I, I'm looking after my kids. Uh, hardly put them to sleep. <laughs> they don't want to go to sleep. Uh, so I come every day, usually I come every day on the morning time between 9 and 11, sometimes 11 from 2 to, to 1, uh, and uh, one more time uh, between 5 and 7. Mm, wow. I'm just sorting the question, keep double tapping the screen guys, I will be with you in a minute, in a second. Sorry, <laughs> let's start with documents, yeah? I'm going to just use the book. I'm really apologize for that because I, I, I'm so upset. Keep it up, up in the screen, guys. So question number one, uh, there you go, sorry guys to make you uh, wait, uh, so the question number one, that's the section of documents guys, I covered this earlier, I was using only the sharing, uh, screen sharing, but I decided to use the book so I can, we can make some notes together, yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> Uh, that's the section of documents here. Yeah? Start from here, around 30 questions, and end up here. Okay. So let's start the question. Question number 643. Uh, so, for how long is an MOT certificate normally valid? Jacqueline, I know you be. Uh, I covered them earlier, but you was not. You was not watching. Sorry if my the phone is moving a little bit. I'm just holding it in my hand. I apologize for this, guys. Let's try to cover all the questions. I hope we can cover all of them. So obviously MOT is a certificate, uh, certificate uh, to check uh, the car, your car. You need to do it every year. It's valid for one year, guys, yeah? So we need to, to make sure to, uh, to one year after the and one year after the date it was used, you need to renew it, yeah? Not 30 miles. It doesn't, doesn't, uh, 
it doesn't uh, it's not with the how miles how many miles did you drive yeah it's after one year book name please oh, this one again <laughs> to your test hi why could yeah it does have the questions and hi why could book at the end yeah let me just uh, uh, so after one year Let's let us write some notes, guys. Who is here having a paper and a pen with him? Who is here taking notes? We will do this uh, uh, now. We will take some notes, guys. Yeah. Uh, so we know. Are your sister? Uh, are your sister? Um, I don't understand the question. Sorry. Where are your sister? I'm here. <laughs> so MOT. This. Put, put some notes guys about mot let's say this is the car okay this is your car come on what is <sighs> oh, sorry guys i'm just sorting okay this is your car guys okay what what you need this section it does have it does uh, have documents that you need. Wow, I'm really rubbish in in in, uh, <laughs> in drawing stuff. So you're gonna need a MOT, yeah. We will make some notes about MOT. How we know now by now that valid for one year, yeah. MOT is valid for one year. First fact, valid for one year, yeah. Okay. That's first thing, yeah? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> A lot of rubbish, rubbish drawing. Sorry about that. So the, the answer for this question, one year after date it was used. Please pass to the question number two. Or uh, 644. What's a cover note? اختي اليوم ظهر وقت كنتي فاتحة لايف شو اسم البرنامج؟ Uh, الكورس تبع ال تبع اللي عندي في ال في الصفحة هو الكورس هذا. I was using the course earlier. <laughs> I'm gonna draw another car. That's a rubbish car. <laughs> really sorry about it. So uh, for a car you need a MOT, yeah. You need a insurance, and you need a uh, a tax. You need to pay the tax for it, huh? Okay. So we will uh, so we will uh, go through the question and uh, make some notes about documents that you're gonna need and uh, how many for how long it's gonna be valid when to renew it and uh, we will sort some a uh, couple of uh, facts yeah just make sure you make some notes guys what's a cover note is a note it's just a certificate telling you, uh, you that you already insure your car. It's like a temporary. You can use it up to one month before getting the insurance one, yeah? So it's a document issued before you receive your insurance certificate, yeah? Some company, they will give you a cover note uh, once you pay for your insurance. So uh, you can use it up to, to one month, yeah? Okay. So the right answer is B, guys, yeah? So let's write down a cover note. We need as well a cover note. Cover note. It's a certificate. What's a note before issuing? Or a document. Document before issued before receive insurance. Document before insurance yeah so we, we we're done with this two facts yeah mot it's valid for one year uh you need you may need a cover note and uh, again with this track let's, let's check what you you need more yeah so question number six 145 you have just passed your first practical driving test what will you have to do if you get six penalty points on your license in the new new next new two years keep double tap into screen guys i 
I try to come sana 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 I I come every day. Try to come every day. I cover a uh, different different question every day. Keep double tapping the screen guys. So if you've been driving for two years that you are just uh, pass your practical test and you drive and you get six penalty within two years, uh, that means you need to retake your theory and practical test. Yeah, that's a fact that you need to know about uh, a driving license. Yeah, let me write it down here: driving license. Yeah, retake. Uh, let me just do it somehow. Six points within two years. In two years, in two years, mean retake theory plus practice. Yeah, both of them. Okay, we know this by now. If you get six penalty within two years, within your first two years, you will need to retake the theory and practical test. Yeah, that's the right answer. Is B. Yeah, let's go to this question now. For how long is stationary off road notification zone valid? Yeah, keep double tapping. Hi, Su Suji. Hi, Nixie. <laughs> For how long is stationary off road notification? Anybody here know what's a song? Do you know what the, what is a song, guys? If you understand what is a song, it's going to be easy to answer this question. So obviously, a song is a certificate that you need to uh, to to get uh, when you decide you are not going to use your vehicle on the road. Yeah. Hi, best boy. Hi. Keep double tapping the screen, guys. So for how long this stationary is off-road notification? Obviously, basically, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be invalid if you decide to use the car again. Yeah? We, we, do, we use this uh, certificate, so we don't need to pay the tax. I, I'm not going to use the car on the road, so I don't need to pay the tax. Yeah? You need to to sort out this not as a notification yeah so how long is it valid for it become invalid when you decide again to use the, the car again on the road or you're gonna sell it to somebody else or scrub it so a song always allows you to keep a vehicle off road and untaxed yeah so will end when the vehicle is taxed sold or scrapped the, the answer is there, there guys the explanation is there with the answer yeah so a son is when you decide uh, you are not going to use the how oh, people want to make money uh, <laughs> at least i'm trying to help so uh, you uh, <laughs> okay let's write it down sorry uh, sorry Raouf Rahmani sorry to hear that uh, you may need to order the course I got linked in my bio I got it again tomorrow by being passing on the official app I'm really sorry to hear that I had my theory test last week got 42 that means you are nearly there yeah if you got 42 one mark you, you're nearly there so just try Try to cover to cover everything on the course, guys. If you if you miss even one single thing, uh, it will uh it will uh, it will not be good. Yeah. If you go go over all the course from A to Z, you definitely will pass. Okay. So let's write down a sorn. Yeah. What we know about the sorn now, a sorn valid until. Valid until the car is being the vehicle being uh, what is it being uh, um, sold taxed again or sold or scrapped 
Okay. That's what is a Sonia. <sighs> oh, sorry. So the right answer is the first the A one, yeah? Let's go to this question now. Keep it double tapping the screen, guys. I'm really sorry if I'm using the book now, but that's what I can offer for now, yeah? What's a stationary off-road notification now? You, we know what's a sorn. We know what is it now. I have got 44 in multiple choice. And congratulations, Musa Khan. Uh, you've been watching me a couple of times, no? Uh, congratulations. I wish you good luck with your driving test. And I know you can do it. Keep double tap into screen, guys. What's a sorn? So this, this question is answering what's a sorn. So if you, obviously, if you want to keep a vehicle untaxed and off the public road, yeah, you must make a sorn. It's an offense not to do so. Your sorn is valid until your vehicle is taxed or sold or scrapped, yeah? So it's a notification to tell the DVLA that a vehicle is not being used on the road, yeah? Okay. That's the right answer, guys, is C. So this question is answering our question before. Yeah, it's like confirming our, our question before. Yeah, can't find driving test any test for anyone. Just keep, keep, uh, keep, uh, keep searching. <laughs> Just every early morning try. Okay, so SOL is a notification. Notification. to DVLA vehicle not used. Okay, not used on the road or roads. Okay, that's a sorn guys. Okay, it's valid until you, you tax it again, sold your car or scrapped, yeah? So we done so far MOT, cover note, driving license, and the sword, yeah? Let's check what we can get more. Okay. I wish you good luck, head, 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 Salfa. I wish you good luck. Wow. February next year. Why, why the driving, uh, driving um, thing is really hard to find? What's the maximum fine for driving without insurance guys keep doubled up into screen guys what's the maximum fine guys unlimited yes it is driving or riding without insurance is a serious if offense yeah as well as unlimited fine, you may be qual disqualified or anchor penalty point here. Yeah? It's unlimited. The fine is unlimited. Let's write it down. Driving without without uh, dr uh, without insurance. Let's write this down here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Driving without insurance. Fine, unlimited. Okay, if you drive without insurance, you will get a fine, unlimited fine. Yeah, it's up to them to decide. Okay, question. Next question. Keep a double tap in the screen, guys. Who is legally responsible for insurance that a vehicle registration certificate is updated? No, we will get a new document now. What's a certificate, a registration, a registration certificate, V5C, yeah? Who is responsible to ensure that it's updated? Keep doubled up into screen, guys, in the meantime. We trying to make some notes as well. While we're doing the question, we're trying to make some notes. Guys, who is here taking some notes while revising? Was it only me?
I have my theory test, Hamid. I wish you good luck. Just keep uh, positive. You can do it. And make sure you read the question carefully many times. Uh, the question that you are sure about it, don't flag it. Flag only the question you are not sure about it. Have notes on my yellow stickers. <laughs> That's really good, Jacqueline. That's a really a good habit. Good luck, Hamid. Or Ahmed, maybe. So who is legally responsible for ensuring uh, the, the registration certificate, guys? Let me show you what's the highway code book saying about it. Okay, this is uh, this is the part of the highway code book. Yeah, this book is really good because it got the questions and got the highway code book as well. Yeah, so let me check what's the rule saying about this. What is this certificate anyway? Mm. Annex. Let me just find it. Okay, document should be document section. Yeah. Come on, I don't want to waste more time on that. There you go. Please, come on. I'm very bad at searching too. Here you go. So this is motor vehicle doc documentation and learner driver requirement. Yeah, this is the section. Got all the document that you need. MOT, insurance, um, uh, type of insurance and uh, uh, what else? A registration certificate. Okay, so let's read what's a registration certificate. Uh, sorry about my my um, my accent and my pronunciation. Um, I'm just trying. Yeah. So registration certificate is also called harmonized registration. Yeah. Are issued for all motor vehicle used on the road. Yeah, describing them. So this certificate is describing the vehicle, make and model, the engine, uh, the engine size, the color, and everything. Yeah, and giving details as well about the registered keeper, the owner, the keeper of the car. Yeah, you must notify the driver and the vehicle licensing agency, the VLA. In Swansea, as soon as possible, when you buy or sell a motor vehicle or you change your name or address, okay? So you need to need to notify them. You need uh, you need to update them if you change your your name, if you change your address, or if you change your vehicle. Yeah. I hope it was uh, it was clear. Sorry, I'm just holding the the book with my hand and let me go back. Go back to the question. The book it does include all the highway uh, the questions and the highway code book, highway code rules, obviously. Yeah, book named. So if you like uh, to uh, try your own books, it's okay. Use this book, but if you, I think, I think uh, apps is better, because it's all same question. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me go back to the question now. We know what's a registration certificate now. Let's try to answer this question. Documents over here somewhere. <laughs> Sorry about that. There you go. It's somewhere here, yeah? We been at question. What was the question? Who is legally responsible for ensuring that a vehicle registration certificate? We know who is responsible now. He, he is the vehicle keeper, yeah? Yeah, the vehicle keeper who is responsible of updating the DVLA about any change, yeah? Which app is good for in one app is good, yeah? Okay. So let's write it down, yeah? Uh, what is it? V5C. We call, they call it V5C. Let's write it down here. Okay, v 5C or registration, regist uh, registration certificate. It does have details about the car, about vehicle, and details the key uh, details about the, the keeper. Yeah. 
who is responsible is the keeper who need to update the DVLA about it, yeah? About any change. Okay, let's go to question, next question. This one, okay? Your insurance, your, your insurer uh, will issue you with an uh, insurance certificate, yeah? When must you produce this document for inspection? I, uh, je parle a little bit. <laughs> Je parle a little bit French. <laughs> I, I've done my study in French. I, I use it to hate it. I use to hate the, the French language because obviously we done our, our study with it in my country. Uh, I was not good at it at all. <laughs> so... A lot of, you know, the, in English, uh, English uh, language, a lot of words coming from there, yeah? From French language, a lot of them. Similar. So, uh, guys, you ensure we issue you with an insurance certificate when you must produce the document uh, when a police officer asks you, yeah? You can get it online. Amazon, eBay, you can find it. Just Google theory test and highway code book. You will find it. There is a lot of books, obviously. Uh, it's about ten pound, yeah, guys. But if you prefer the app, the I prefer the app. Uh, but if you prefer books, uh, yeah, okay. But I highly recommend, guys, the book on its own. The highway code book is really, really helpful. Got all the rules that you need to know. Every single question is coming from there. So when you when you need to issue your insurance certificate, when a police officer asks you for it, and you go, if you if a police uh, f officer stop you and ask you about your documents and you don't have them with you, you can uh, you can take them to a police station within one week, within same seven days, guys. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, keep double tap in the screen in the meantime. So the right answer is C. When a police officer asks you if for it, yeah. Yes, within seven days. Let me just write down something about insurance. <laughs> My rubbish car. <laughs> Let me just do something to make it more nicer, yeah? Yeah, maybe like that. <laughs> really rubbish with drawing. So insurance, guys. We know that uh, well, you must produce valid insurance uh, if a police officer asks you. Produce it. What is it? Produce means show. Show the police officer. Show police officer. Okay. That's what we got. What we was the note that we made from this question. Yeah. This is a spram. This is a prom. <laughs> Let me just. Uh, it's really uh, embarrassing me. This car is really embarrassing me. I need to sort it out. Uh, when must your vehicle have a valid insurance cover? When must your vehicle ha have a valid insurance cover, guys? Guys, I need to explain to you. Maybe this question is a bit is a bit is a bit hard. Yeah. B uh, basically, you can't tax your car before. Uh, having an insurance, a valid insurance, yeah? And you can't have valid insurance without a MOT. So first of all, as a driver, you need to have a driving license, yeah? Be, uh, first of all, you need to do the MOT for the car, then insurance, then the taxes. So you can't tax your car without having a valid insurance. Yeah, it's a bit... It's a bit confusing. I was I I was having a trouble to understand this. Yeah. 
when must your vehicle have a valid insurance cover before you can tax it so you are not you can tax your car before before uh, paying for insurance you will not tax it for you and you will not have a valid insurance uh, if your MOT is uh, unvalid as well so let's write it down here big big uh, writing yeah let's write it down here okay MOT then insurance that's the order insurance uh, insurance then tax that's really important to know you can't so if your MOT is invalid it will affect your insurance and you can you can tax your car without uh, insurance yeah okay that's a fact MOT then insurance then tax okay hi pass my story test god for thank you for your support hayatullah uh thank you for uh, congratulations for passing your test <laughs> رجع لك كتابك واخا ان شاء الله <تصفيق> خسر لي التليفون تاع صلاح الدين وراني تنخربق ماي سان فون وينت اوف سو ام جاست يوزين ذا بوك توداي وات واز ذا كويشن هير سوري سو يو كانت يو كانت انشور يور كار ويزاوت بيفور سو يو وين ماست يور فيكل هاف ا فاليد انشورنس كوفر بيفور يو كان تاكس ات يا ذاتس ذا رايت انسر <laughs> Congratulations, who passed the theory test today? Uh, who was it? Um, Hayatullah, I, uh, I'm really happy for you. Uh, I wish you good luck with your driving one. And wish, wish me good luck, wish me good luck as well. Okay. So the right answer here is D, guys, yeah? So let's read this as well. This is, will help you. Your vehicle must have a valid insurance cover before you can tax it. If required, it will also need to have a valid MOT certificate. Yeah, You can tax your vehicle online by phone or at a certain post office. Yeah, You can do it easily uh, just online. Yeah, Let's go to the next question. I'm really sorry to hear that, Nota. Nota Brahms. Sorry to hear that. Uh, you, can you can enroll on the course. I got linked in my bio. It's really, really helpful. Yeah, you don't need uh, to stress yourself anymore about this theory test feeling every time. Yeah. <clears throat> so, the question here, I, I can't see the answer. Sorry. <laughs> Let me just rub the answer. I'm gonna hide it. Don't cheat. I'm gonna hide the answer. You can't. You can't see. Okay. Uh, what do you need before you can legally use a motor vehicle on the road, guys? Keep double tapping the screen, guys. In the meantime, wish me good luck. Mine on the thir thirty one, uh, thir thir thirty first of. I wish you good luck, Mumma. Mumma. Uh. Yeah, I wish you good luck. Just keep practicing. You still got a good time. And never give up, guys. Never. Obviously, before, that's the common sense. Yeah, before using a vehicle on the road, you need to be, uh, you need to have a driving license. Yeah. Vehicle handbook. What? what? That's the, uh, that, this answer is a rubbish answer. Before driving a vehicle on the road, you need to, to have a driving license. Yeah, that's a common sense. Yeah. Hi, Arabesque. Hi. Are you passed my uh, your theory yesterday? JD. Oh, that's really good. I remember you by your picture. <laughs> I'm really happy for you. Okay. So before using a car, a vehicle on the road, you need to have a driving license. That's common sense. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. How about you? Uh, so that's the that's the answer. The A one, yeah. A is the uh, good answer. Uh, we will not make a note of it because it's just common sense, yeah. What must you have when you apply to renew your vehicle tax? Thank, uh, congratulations, uh, Jadi. I'm really happy for you. 
Thank you, Arabesque. Arabesque. I maybe contacted you before, but it was, uh, I was, um, I think I sorted it out. I'm really sorry. What must you have when you apply to renew your tax, your vehicle tax? Keep double tapping the screen, guys, in the meantime, time to time. This way you're helping me to reach more people and obviously to help more people. For the people really struggling with your test, you don't need to. If you find my explanation somehow helpful, the course is there for you. It's much, much better. And there is there somebody to assist you to make you understand every single fact that you need to know to answer the questions, yeah? The test had a lot of questions on motorway and signs. That's really good. How, uh, as in, um, how did you find the question? What, were the same as the app or different? Hi, Frida. So before tax your, your, your vehicle, you need a valid insurance, guys. Yeah, definitely. Tell us more, please. Uh, more about what, mother love? Yes, the course was the same. Uh, the question you mean uh, being same, similar. Because a lot of people come, come back from the test and say, I've never seen this question. It's just because they are worded differently, yeah? Like they, they think they, they never seen it. So guys, one more time. What book is that? It's a uh, theory test and highway code, yeah? It got all the questions, uh, official question, and as well the highway code at the end, yeah? This is the highway code bit. Okay. So valid insurance, you need a valid insurance. So again, one more time. Before you need uh, to tax your car, you need an insurance. If you don't have a valid insurance, you can tax your car. As well, if you don't have a, a valid MOT, is if your MOT is out of date or invalid, it will affect your insurance. Yeah, you, you need to know this fact. Yeah. Okay, so the right answer is valid insurance. I've done this do uh, topic because a lot of people have been asking me. I've done it earlier today between five and seven. And I'm doing it again one more time. It's like a recap, yeah? Alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Just keep practicing, you'll be fine. A really good, 46 out of 50 is really good, yeah? It's a good mark. Muslima, 23 pounds. Uh, do you mean the fee, the theory test fee? So a police officer asked to see your documents. You don't have them with you. I've, I covered this earlier. I, I've the, uh, I explain it. So how many days do you have to produce them at a police station? Is it 5, 7, 14 or 21 days? You need to know this, guys. Yes, seven days. So if the police officer asks you and you don't have the documents with you, you can produce them. Uh, at a police station within seven days, yeah? Let me write it down as well, yeah? Insurance. Where shall I write uh, documents, insurance? Show police officer and uh, produce it. Produce to at police station. Station. My writing is rubbish, but it's okay. Station within seven days. Yeah? Seven. Yeah? This is seven. Okay? So, insurance, you know, to show a police officer if he asks you. Uh, and you need to pr produce it at a police station within seven days. That's a, that's like a, a note, yeah? Uh, next question, quick, quick, quick. So when should you update your vehicle re registration certificate? Uh, 
Remember what we've been saying about the certificate? It's about, uh, it does include details about the vehicle, like uh, the mo model, like the color, the engine um, uh, size, and uh, uh, everything about the vehicle, yeah? How, how, uh, uh, how, how, how old is in the day it was uh, issued? Uh, so, uh, and as well, the details about the keeper. So this certificate is include details about the vehicle and details about the keeper. Who is responsible to make it updated? Yeah, is the keeper, yeah? When you pass your driving test, when you move house, when you move house, when you change your name or when you change your vehicle, you need to update this, yeah? Let me write it down. Update it. Update. By... The keeper registered registered keeper if you need to tell dvla if you change house mean address or change name or change the vehicle itself yeah you need to tell tell dvla about all this yeah and you need to tell as well if your health is affected we will cover a question about it if your health is affected if your driving will be affected by your health problem you will tell you need to tell the vla yeah what was the question here i passed thank you i really uh i saw uh ha i'm really happy for you where key r quiz um congratulation for passing the theory test i don't really remember your your i your name yeah eyesight yes it is uh, uh anything affecting the eyesight you can't drive anymore you any any problem with your health you need to tell them when you move house that's the right answer yeah let's go to the question next one okay uh, what must you check before you drive someone else's vehicle? I'm really sorry to hear that echo. Just keep practicing. Hazard perception is all about practicing. The more you're practicing and don't aim to have like five every time. You don't need to have a five score. Even you have a three, each clip you will pass. What must you check before you drive someone else's vehicle? that the vehicle is insured for you use yeah okay that's the right answer well done that the vehicle is insured for your use guys i i i wish i can cover all the question but we done we done really a good good uh, good uh, good uh, job by taking some notes yeah all what you need to know all what you all um, uh, <laughs> all the documents that you need to have if you have if you want to use a car in the road yeah okay so you need to know you need to uh, have a uh, uh, insurance, valid insurance. Shall I write it down here? Drive someone else car. Uh, drive someone someone car or vehicle. You need to be insured. Yeah, insured for it. Insured to use it. Okay, that's a fact as well. Yeah. The vehicle is insured for your use. Uh, next question quickly. Your car needs to pass an MOT test. What may be unvalidated if you drive the car without current MOT certificate? Uh, piano, I'm really sorry. It's up to... Um, I don't have a time, but I usually come on the morning, every morning, uh, weekdays, uh, and weekdays again between 5 and 7. And uh, later on night time, whenever I got the, the right time, yeah? Okay. Your car need to pass. This is a bit confused. Uh, this is a confusing question. Same like 
when what must you have when you apply to renew your tax uh, this one same yeah so before renewing the car the tax you need a valid insurance yeah but uh, a valid insu uh, insurance will be invalid um, uh, invalidated invalidated the uh, if your uh, MOT uh, uh, is invalid yeah if you don't have a MOT you can't uh, your uh, vehicle insurance will be affected yeah that's the answer your car need to pass an MOT test what may be invalidated if you drive the car without a current MOT certificate? Obviously, the vehicle insurance, yeah? They may put your insurance up as well, yeah? So one more time, <laughs> let's come back to this again. You can, if you, you don't have a valid MOT, it will affect your insurance, yeah? If you don't have a valid insurance, you can't tax your car. This is really important to understand. That's the order. Have an MOT, then insurance, then you can tax your car, yeah? Keep double tapping the screen, guys. So what will be affected is the vehicle insurance, guys, yeah? Right answer is B, guys. Well done, Cedra, yeah? Next question. It's very hot. <laughs> what legal requirement uh, must be met by newly qualified driver? You just have your driving license. What will be what will re require? What other requirement you need? I know you can see the answer. <laughs> Let me just rub it out. <laughs> you cheating, guys. So uh, that's common sense, yeah? You have a car, you got the driving license. What you need as well is insurance, yeah? You must have a valid motor insurance for you. <laughs> oh, Queen Noor, how are you? Long time I didn't see you. How are you? You must have a valid motor insurance, guys, too, so you can use the car, yeah? For yourself, insurance for yourself. Okay, it's your responsibility to make sure you are properly insured for the vehicle you are driving. This is the case regardless of whether you are a newly qualified driver or one with more experience. It doesn't matter. You need an insurance. Yeah. Let's go back. How have you been done? Wow. We're nearly there, guys. You know, finish all the questions. Uh, let me just rub the, uh, the the right answers so you don't you don't uh, you guess the answer obviously. Let me see. Didn't try that one. Forgot maybe. Okay. Keep double tapping the screen, guys. I didn't see. <laughs> Hello, Mima. How are you? Uh, what's are covered by third party insurance? Again, I need to explain to you the insurance. Yeah, there are three different type of insurance. Uh, where shall I put them now? Here, three type of insurance. The minimum, the minimum that the law require is the third party. What does mean a third party? Is the insurance that is cheapest one? Uh, it will cover only the damage to other people's cars or vehicles or property. So it's not going to cover you. It will cover only others. That's uh, unfair, but this is how it is. That's the cheapest one. So what's covered by third party insurance is damage guys to other vehicles. Yeah. The third party insurance doesn't cover damage to your own vehicle or injury to yourself. Yeah. If you have a crash and your vehicle is damaged, you might have to carry out the repair at your own expenses. Yeah. It sounds unfair, obviously. Insurance company is just getting richer and richer. <laughs> 
WhatsApp is the best security tester, the best and the best and the best um, app or course is the one I got linked in my bio. You will not feel, you will feel very, very confident about passing your theory test. Uh, Comprehensive is for rich people. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, I'm saying that, but it's just for me, for my case. Comprehensive is the, the expensive. Let, me, let us read together, obviously, all the things that you need to know about insurance. Yeah. Let me read it and uh, please be, be patient with me. So I just I try to cover to use a motor vehicle on the road. You must have a valid insurance policy. Yeah, this must at least cover you for injury or damage to a third party while using that motor. Yeah, before driving any motor vehicle, make sure that it has this cover for your use or w or without uh, or that your own insurance provide adequate cover. You must not drive a motor vehicle without insurance. That's we all, we know this. Also, be aware that even if a road traffic incident is not your fault, you may stay, still be held liable by insurance companies. Even if it's not your fault, yeah? Uh, let me read the three type, the three type of cover available uh, are indicated below. The third party insurance, this often is the cheapest, yeah? Uh, and the minimum cover required by law. That's the minimum that you must have. Yeah, it cover anyone, anyone you might injure or whose uh, property you might damage. It does not cover damage to your own. Yeah, or injury to yourself. Yeah, third party fire and death insurance similar to third party, but also covers against your motor vehicles being stolen. Yeah. Fire and diff, uh, they will cover if you being uh, your uh, or damaged by fire, fire or being stolen. Yeah, that's another one. Comprehensive insurance is that's the the most expensive. Yeah, but the best insurance. Yeah, apart from covering other person and property against injury or damage, that's a nod. It also cover damage to your own vehicle as well any uh, injury to yourself. Yeah, that's the that's the three type of insurance. But the third one is the cheapest, third party, and uh, the, the one required by law, yeah? I lost the, the question now. <laughs> I'm sure it's just somewhere here, yeah? Within that, yeah? So the question here, damage to other vehicles, guys, that's the right answer. I, I wish you, you find it easy. Uh, so third party insurance it doesn't cover uh, cover you guys yeah it does cover only other people okay question number 660 screenshot let me go back uh you can just uh, check the highway code book uh guys online you can do that there you go okay let me just do it like that maybe Come on, who is screenshotting this? Okay, go back, done. <laughs> uh, documents, I'm just trying to be nice. You don't know I'm a, ni I'm a kind person. Especially if someone's struggling, I really like to, to, to help, yeah? So we done that. It's this one now. Who is responsible for paying the vehicle tax again? So who is responsible for paying the vehicle tax, guys? Not the driver, but... The register keeper who 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 have uh, the car on his name, yeah. The owner somehow, yeah. It's not the car dealer. Come on. It's B. Will then. Uh, did did we then any any uh, notes about tax? Let me write it down here. Nearby that silly car. Shall I write it down here? There you go. Okay, tax. Uh, 
Did I turn tax? So we cover so, so far SORN, MOT, but well, we still need to, 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 to make some notes about uh, MOT, cover note, yeah, driving license, driving without insurance, obviously fine and limited. We cover so far registration certificate as well and insurance, yeah. I'm gonna write down something about tax, yeah. What they saying? Tax. You can tax. You can tax vehicle without a valid insurance. Yeah? Who is responsible? The keeper. Keeper responsible to pay. to pay the tax, yeah? We're done with this one. Do you have... <clears throat> so we done that, who is responsible for paying the vehicle tax is the, the keeper, yeah? Not the driver. DVLA, obviously not. So it's the keeper, yeah? Well done, guys, it's B. Next question, then we are... Then we're nearly there, yeah? What information is found on a vehicle registration document? we done this before, yeah? Uh, V5C, they call it. A registering uh, certificate got details about the vehicle and details about the keeper, yeah? Um, oh my God, did you pass? Alaikum salam. Did you pass the lucky I got for TT? That's really good. That's all what you need. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> you get rid of this uh, theory test. So when must you contact the driver? D did I cover this one? No. So what information is found on a vehicle registering document? <laughs> Uh, let's say uh, four in one is the best, yeah? I like four in one and I like another one which I use ray driving as well because they both got some good things that I like to use, yeah? But all of them, guys, they are similar. All the questions are similar. Every vehicle used on the road has a registration document to show the vehicle's details, including date of first registration, registration number, registered keeper, previous keeper, who was owning the car before, make of, make of the vehicle as well, engine size, chassis number, year of manufacture and color, yeah? So it does have the registered keeper, yeah? All the details about the owner, you will find it in that document, yeah? We covered this so far, yeah? We've done it. Uh, what else? When must you contact the driver and vehicle license uh, agency? We done this as well. So we uh, we've been saying who is the responsible of updating that registration certificate is the, the, the keeper. Yeah, he is uh, responsible to update. Uh, uh, if he changed the house, if he changed the name, and if he changed the vehicle itself. And he need to tell the DVLA if you got any problem with your health. Is the registration keeper, that's the answer. Got details about him. Okay. Uh, when must you contact the driver and vehicle license agency, guys? When you get a parking ticket? Nope. When you change your vehicle, when you when you use uh, your vehicle for work, when your vehicle insurance is due, yeah? The right answer is B. When you change your vehicle, it's like the made of your vehicle, you having a new car or something, you need to tell them as well. So they put it in the, that book, that certificate, obviously. So if you change your car, if you change your name or you change your house, or change your vehicle, you need definitely to tell them, yeah? Okay, that's another fact, yeah? When you change your vehicle. 
last three question maybe or last four question wow there's another one two three four five six last six question yeah what cir circumstances require you to notify the driver uh, the, and the vehicle license agency again Keep double tapping the screen, guys. We're nearly there, yeah? So just by watching me this today, I cover documents, uh, documents, uh, questions. So you don't need to do them again unless you want to, like, uh, to try yourself again. We cover a lot of, a lot, a lot, thing, a lot of things. Yeah, Jacqueline, can you see we cover a lot, a lot of stuff. I know it's, it's, uh, for some people it's, it's a bit hard. Yeah, documents, desk, that here, uh, insurance, uh, so on. Uh, they may give you the question about them. Yeah, so you need to know them. Definitely. You need to know. You need to know what's that so on. You need to know what's that MOT. You need to know what's a cover note. You need to know uh, what's a registration certificate. Yeah, you need to know all this. Uh, morning 10 o'clock uh, have a good sleep <laughs> that's the first one it's getting late just have a good uh, sleep have a good breakfast uh, think positive uh, read the question the, the, have a cup of water before entering i keep repeat, uh, repeating same but try the question uh, try to read the question many times because a lot of questions are tricky next live mama tomorrow yeah so what was the question here um when your when your health is affect affect your driving definitely you need to to let them know yeah that's the answer a yeah so let's uh let's write it down here yeah here 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 your health affect driving yeah you need to to tell dvla yeah as well uh where could do the cost when could the cost of your insurance be reduced thank you but i'm so scared don't be baby isa don't be because uh don't let the stress overtake you i know your feeling i've passed through through that because obviously i was really revising perfectly but still i got that feeling that i'm gonna i'm gonna not pass yeah but all what I can tell you, just relax because you've done already what you need to do. Yeah, you you done your bet. Tomorrow you're gonna know. Just take it easy. Yeah, it's just a test. It's just a silly test. Yeah, and don't tell nobody. I keep telling people if you have your theory test, just try to don't tell nobody. Maybe if you close friend is okay, but if you tell a member of family or uh, of someone, he will just. Uh, if you fail, you will, you will just uh, uh, make you feel like uh, bad about it somehow. Yeah. When you pass, tell. Yeah. When you don't pass, just don't tell nobody. Yes, it is. I wish you good luck, baby Isa. You just have a good sleep. I think you, that's. Uh, I know a lot of people they have enough pressure from uh, uh like um, uh, parents uh, or maybe husband or so just uh, don't tell nobody do, do your test if you f if you if you pass that's really good yeah but if you fail keep it between you and yourself <laughs> that's what I feel now uh, when called the ca cost of your insurance will be reduced obviously if you pass when you complete the pass plus shame what's pass plus shame uh, is a uh, extra training you're gonna ma take uh, to make you a safe driver uh, uh, a good driver 
it's extra training after you have passed your practical test you can do pass plus shame to to show up that you are really good you are a safe driver you done your training you done a lot you, you done extra training this way you help yourself by uh, the if you show up uh, if you show to the insurance people they may reduce your your insurance yeah Okay, pass plus uh, pass uh, plus provide additional training to renew to newly qualified drivers. Yeah, so if you pa if you then pass plus shame, uh, you may uh, the insurance may uh, reduce your insurance. Let me to write it down here. Yeah, it's another fact. Yeah, pass plus shame. Maybe reduce. Okay, maybe it's a help to reduce this rubbish thingy. Reduce insurance cost. Okay. So make a note about it. Okay, last question maybe, yeah? In order to supervise a learner driver, you need to have held a full driving license for the same category of vehicle, yeah, for at least three years. What other requirements must you meet? You have, if you want to, to help somebody to teach him how to drive, you need to be a good driver. You need to have a driving license uh, at least three years and to be at least 21 years old, yeah? That's the rule, yeah? When where I'm gonna write it down? Was that? Shall I write it down here somewhere? Okay, let me just write it down here as well. Uh, teach someone uh, supervise supervise a learner. Supervise a learner. You need to be three years, at least three years, drive three years. What is it? Driving license. Three years driving. And you need to be 20 years old, at least, yeah? Okay? That's another fact, yeah, that you need to know. Definitely, you may have a question about it. Definitely. Okay. You need to be at least 20 years old and you need to be, be driving for at least uh, three years. Yeah. Done. Next, next go. Let's go to the last, to last uh, how many question? One, two, three, four, five. Five question, guys. <sighs> Tomorrow, I think, inshallah, help us please make dua, guys. I wish you good luck, guys. I wish you good luck. Just be positive. Uh, thank you, Ali. Thank you. I'm really getting tired, but I try to cover this. Maybe somebody, maybe I'm going to help someone to pass tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, if I, I save you only by one point or two points, that's really good. Your car requires an MOT certificate when it's legally to drive it without an MOT certificate. Again, MOT. MOT certificate uh, issue from a sun, MOT center uh, telling you, or obviously, um, uh, making sure that the car is, is worth it to use on the road. Yeah, it's uh, braking system is okay. Exhaust system is okay. Everything with the car is okay. You can't drive a car without a valid MOT, yeah? Let me just uh, rub that, the, the good answer. Wow, it's really, really hot. I'm sweating here. SubhanAllah, but it's good. It's better than the cold. Last, last two question, guys, yeah? Last three or four or five question. Okay, uh, your car requires an MOT certificate when it's legal to drive with that. You can drive with uh, your car without an MOT certificate uh, if in one condition, if you drive in it to an appointment, MOT appointment center, yeah? 
when driving to an appointment at an MOT center. When, not when you're driving to make an arrange appointment, yeah? You need to have the appointment already. Then you are okay to drive the car without MOT, yeah? It's really important to know that. Let me write it down as well. Uh, uh, MOT, okay? It's valid for one year. Drive without or MOT to a, a appointment center, something like that. Yeah, valid for one uh, for one year. Let me just put it because I'm gonna need to add the little things about it as well. Let me just put it on the top here. Yeah. MOT tax sol within it cover note driving license you need to need a couple of things about it insurance V5C or registration certificate yeah that's that's a couple of documents that you need to know MOT within two fact we need to finish the rest yeah I know it's this doc this uh, this bit is really complicated. I had a problem to understand every single document. I don't know what is insurance. I don't know what is a sorn. I had to make the search on my own. So, so when you're driving in, uh, to an appointment at a MOT center, not to around the appointment. When you drive into an appointment, yeah. Okay. Driver vehicle that have a more than 40 years old without any MOT test, but they must be a road worthy condition before going in. Mm -hmm. So let me just read this. When a car is three years old, four years old in Northern, Northern Ireland, it must have, uh, it must pass an MOT cert test and have a valid MOT certificate before it can be used on the road. Exceptionally, you may drive to a pre-arranged test appointment or to garage for repair required for the test, yeah? Drive vehicles that are more than 40 years old without an MOT test. But, okay, but they must be in a roadworthy condition before being used on the road, yeah? So I think driving a car... You can drive without a MOT for a cars that have 40 years old. That's weird, that. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's go to question number 667. Wow. Uh, when will <laughs> just the number make, you <laughs> make, make me tired? <laughs> so when will a new car need its first MOT test? Yeah. Again, about MOT. How old? New car. It doesn't need a MOT until it's uh, it have uh, three years old. Yeah, it's like three years baby. Baby car. Three years. Yes, it is. It's not one year. So if it's a new car, the first MOT you have to do it after because obviously it's a new car, yeah. Everything is brand new on it. Braking system is okay. It's perfect. Everything is perfect. But once that car uh, become three years old, you need to do the first MOT for it, yeah. So let me write write it down here, yeah. Uh, again, it's valid for one year. Drive without MOT to a, an appointment center. You are okay, okay to drive. Let me write it down here. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, new car. Three years. MOT, please. Okay. I know you can't read my 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 writing. I'm I'm really uh, bad at writing. Okay, we done this when it's three years old, yeah? Oh, 
Okay, that's what does third party insurance cover? Again, same question. Third party insurance cover only damage to other people. Nothing to deal with you is other people, other uh, other drivers' uh, vehicles. Yeah. Not all damage and injury, damage to your vehicles, uh, not to your vehicles, to other vehicles, guys. It's B, well done. We're nearly there. Yeah, last two questions that I'm free and you are free as well. I know you, Jacqueline, you've been with me all from the beginning, yeah? Well done. No, you're done with the documents uh, topic, yeah? Thank you for sending likes. Thank you for being, uh, for being supporting me. Thank you. Okay, so damage only to other vehicles, yeah? Let me write it down, insurance. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What I've done here? I, <laughs> I, I messed up this. I like this. I'm going to take a picture and put it in my Facebook group, yeah? Uh, let me just... Uh, uh, if you want me, guys, to post it a video as a video, I can do so as well. Just type yes. Reduce insurance cost. There are three types of insurance. Yeah, we cover this. Insurance. Three type. Three type. Yeah. Third party. That's the cheapest. Third party. It does cover. Cover. Only others. Yeah. Others damage. Others cover only damage to others. Yeah, let's do the other one. Uh, I don't know what was the name. Third party as well, and plus fire, plus what was it? Fire and what else? And thief. It been stolen. Stolen something. It does cover others. Plus fire to your car, and if you be stolen, yeah, they will cover this. And the expensive one is comprehensive. I don't know what does mean comprehensive, but the expensive one it does cover everything. Cover you and others and injury yeah as well health problem wow we done it last bit guys tift <laughs> i don't know how to write that uh so Let's go back to lap two question. Yeah, just stay with me. Let me bring back the page. We've been working on it. Last two, three questions. Yeah, keep it double tapping the screen, guys. In the meantime, so what does a third party insurance cover? We know it does cover damage to others only. Yeah, other vehicle. Uh, let's go to the last two questions. Keep it double tapping the screen, guys. Uh, let me just kill it. Uh, rub the. I'm not a fit person, yeah? <laughs> Every single movement I'm doing. Sorry. So, yeah. What's the legal minimum insurance cover? You must have to drive on a public road. We know this. That minimum that the law requires you is the... Third party, yeah, that's the cheapest as well. Third party, guys. Yeah, well done, guys. You, we nearly there. We are on the last question, guys. That's mean you cover a lot, guys. Yeah, we cover all that topic. Yeah, that document section, we cover it. Yeah, C is the right answer. Only the third party, only. Yeah, it doesn't cover others. No, uh, that mean, uh, no. What's that? 
the minimum that the law require you, the minimum insurance is the third party. They call it third party. Last question, guys. The, this question. Hi, uh, Nadia. Hi. Yes, we done, Jacqueline. We done cover a lot. I like, you know, guys, um, I'm honest with you, you guys. Yeah, I like to help. I like to because if I maybe... Uh, I uh, but I explain all what you need to know about these documents, guys. We cover a lot, yeah. Uh, last question. So just saying, I was you know the time I was rec uh, revising, I couldn't understand this question, guys. Yeah, it was really uh, because obviously my English is not perfect. I was what's going on in this question? I I really don't understand it. Let's try. What does it mean if your insurance policy has an excess of 500? What does it mean, obviously? When you have an excess of 500, me, you mean that you have, if anything happened, if any accident, if you got any problem with your, with your um, car or, or other's car, uh, you're going to claim, yeah? But you need to pay for the first 500 of the cost, yeah? Then any extra, then more than 500, they will sort it out for you. They will pay for it. That's what they mean about it. How Hassani, how you can get this book? Uh, uh, online, I think online. Amazon, eBay, yeah? Theory Test and Highway Code Book, yeah? So what does it mean if your insurance policy has an excess of 500 you need to you need to pay for the, fi the first 500 uh, uh then the rest they will cover it the insurance will cover it okay well then guys the right answer is D you got you got it right yeah it could be 500 or 600 or 6 700 so if they change that 500 don't 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 panic yeah <laughs> It's just an example. Guys, this is helpful. Uh, I, I, wish, uh, I, wish, I wish you learned something by watching me tonight. Uh, really, I made an effort. Yeah? I'm all, uh, I, uh, I decide to cover this. A lot of people have been asking me, please, can you cover documents? I cover all of it today. Yeah? So we're done. That's the last question, guys. Yeah? Then you are free. Yeah? This is incident, accident, and emergency. That's another topic, yeah? For this book, you will get the answer, the right answer at the end. So they will give you the answer here, yeah? There you go. Documents, we done all this, guys, yeah? So we cover so far. She? For, for t uh, 24 question earlier i cover more than that 28 question uh can we motorway next please jacqueline i'm really tired uh, I, I can't do it tomorrow yeah when is your test jacqueline guys we cover so far let's let's do a recap yeah stop for a we cover that you need to drive a car on the road you know what? The car is making me stressed, yeah? I'm going to do a car. I don't care. It's going to be like that, maybe. Yep. Here you go. Astaghfirullah, the automobile key, the Rauja. Is that okay? <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember how I was drawing a car before. <laughs> mm, okay. Uh, we covered so far. Jacqueline, help, please. <laughs> please. What I do? I don't know. I don't know how to draw a car, guys. I'm really struggling to do that. Let me just put a car in, yeah? There you go. That's the best and uh, best uh, thing that I can do. I don't need to draw it. <laughs> so if you can just move the car, the, the, can you just, uh, 
um, this is what we cover tonight, guys. Okay, we cover this, all is this, guys. So uh, if you want to drive, <laughs> if you want to drive a car or a vehicle, you need a couple of documents, yeah? We cover MOT, MOT certificate to, to, to tell that your car is perfectly, everything is okay, braking system is okay, the wheel, the, the steering, everything is exit system, uh, for the gas, uh, for gas coming from the car, it's okay. Everything is okay with that. They will give you a certificate called MOT. Yeah, you can't drive your car without it. A uh, new car, she need to have an MOT after three years because obviously this new car uh, is perfect. You don't need to do MOT until it's half three years. Yeah, valid. It's uh, MOT certificate is valid for one year. Uh, it's okay to drive without a MOT in one occasion when you drive to an appointment center. Yeah, to uh, to an appointment uh, MOT appointment. Yeah, a tax. You can't tax your vehicle without a valid insurance. Keeper is respons. Uh, registered keeper is responsible to pay the tax. Yeah. Uh, what else? SORN is a certificate. When you decide, I'm not going to use this car, okay? I'm not going to use this car anymore on the road. I don't want to pay the tax for it. I need to sort the SORN, yes? Yeah? Certificate that I'm not... Uh, uh, so what's a SORN? Notification to DVLA that vehicle is not being used on the road, yeah? It's valid until the, ta is, uh, the car is being taxed again or sold to someone else, or scrubbed, yeah? What else? Cover note is a document before an insurance. They will give you, it's valid for, you can use it up to one month, yeah? Before getting the insurance, yeah? What we learn about insurance, you need to show your insurance document to a police officer. Uh, you can, if you, if he asks you this document and you don't have it, you can produce it at a police station within seven days, yeah? Uh, what's that? If you want to drive someone's car, you need to make sure that you are insured to use it, okay? Pass plus shame is uh, extra training. It will help you to reduce your insurance cost, yeah? Okay, I'm just taking it easy to cover everything. Uh, uh, V5C, registration certificate. What is it? It's a, a certificate. Uh, it does include details about the vehicle, the made, the model, the, co the color, uh, the year it was uh, manufactured, everything about the vehicle, and as well, the details about the keeper. Who is responsible to update this, this certificate is the, the keeper, yeah? Uh, he need to tell DVLA when you change your house, change your name, change your vehicle. If you just decide to to buy a new car, or your health is affected, uh, your health will affect your driving. Yeah. What else? Uh, if you have your driving license. Within two years, you got six points on your driving license. Within the first two years, you need to retake your theory and practice. Yeah? Driving without insurance, fine is unlimited. Okay? The fine is unlimited. As well as, what else? Uh, if you want to supervise a learner, you need to be three years driving. Uh, at least and three, 21 years old, at least, yeah? We done the SORN. Uh, this is the three type of insurance. The third party is the cheapest one. You need, that's the, 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 that's the minimum that the law requ require from you, yeah? So it does cover only others, other vehicles. It's not going to fix your car. It's fix other people, yeah? Fix other people vehicles <laughs> uh the the next type is third party plus fire plus if it's stolen it does cover only others and if your car got a fire uh, or it's been stolen okay Com comprehensive is the most expensive one it does cover everything it doesn't cover you 
it does cover others it does cover if you've been injured yeah i hope it was clear uh yeah you can take a screenshot yeah all what you need to know swap the documents on the side uh, the documents <laughs> swap the, the 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 comments on the side on the right side then you can take a screenshot yeah let me just do that you can do that yeah here you go i will take a picture and post it in my uh, facebook group yeah I hope this, uh, I, I need to tell you as well, this is really important. This is, that's the most important thing, yeah? They will ask you, so obviously, yeah. You can't, you can't tax your car without a valid insurance, yeah? You can't tax it. You will not accept you to tax it if you don't have an insurance. And if you don't have a valid MOT, it will affect your insurance. So obviously, you need to have a valid on MOT, then you can insure your car. Once you get the insurance, you will you can show to the VLA so you can tax your car. Okay, it's really important this order: MOT, insurance, then tax. Okay, I'm really happy with this uh, today. Yeah, can take a screenshot with my tajin. Uh, uh, if you done it, just tell me that, let me know, yeah? There is a lot of things missing, obviously. Yes. Okay. Good, 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 good. I deserve a clap, yeah? You don't know, I've, I've done a lot. <laughs> Uh, MOT and insurance and tax is last. No, I understand. Yes, it is. Uh, I know, I know. A lot of been a lot of people been. Uh, I will do this more and more. You just need to, guys, to keep double tapping the screen, to share the live, to 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 show me support, so I get motivated to do more. Yeah. <laughs> okay so we cover so far all what you need to know uh, guys if you want all this information organized same way this is all included on the course i got linked in my bio okay every single uh i will, sh I will show you obviously a fact list yeah uh what does the, the course include it's really really helpful you don't need to to stress yourself anymore about because it does cover all what you need so if you know all this if you know all this you'll find easy to answer question and the topic yeah documents topic yeah let me uh, show you the, the the fact list this is vehicle loading fact list can you see there are only about uh, 10 10 sentences about this vehicle loading yeah that's a fact list about it yeah everything you need same what we doing here okay and as well, this is, I got only two here. V, vulnerable road user fact list. That's all what you need to know to answer them question perfectly, yeah? This is how the course being organized, guys. It's really, really, really uh, helpful. You don't need to stress yourself anymore, guys. The course is linked in my bio, okay? You don't need to install any app. You don't need to buy any books. It's, everything is included. I wish uh, you learned something by watching me today. I need obviously to go to do my salad. Uh, then, yeah, go to sleep. That's the that's 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 better. <laughs> that's a better car. Uh, if you got any question about this section obviously what we've been doing you can text me uh, if you want if you're willing to do one-to-one -one classes i do as well uh, just text me on my instagram guys yeah uh, shukran my son or my 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 i think may 
last one can you explain one last i've done everything sorry i ca i can't post it in my year in my maze may soon hello please how affects sun sunlight during driving please tell me sunlight what is sunlight sunglasses the sunlight will affect when uh, when uh, your windows somehow are not cleaned properly yeah you need to make sure you clean your windows because that sun will if there is any anything on the window will uh, do some like some kind of reflection it will dazzle you yeah bright sun let me check what where i can find this information guys this is really really important guys to read the highway code book i'm really sorry i don't have uh, i don't have the other phone so i need to search in here now that's my google now i'm sure i'm sure there is the information i know that question i know where uh where you uh, sit, build, and child restaurant before sitting off. Before sitting off, you should ensure that you have planned your route and allowed sufficient time. Uh, clothing and footwear. Your mirrors and seats are adjusted correctly. Head restaurants are properly adjusted. You have sufficient fuel. Your vehicle is legal and roadworthy. Switch off your mobile phone. Uh, there's nothing here about the windows, cleaning the windows. Yeah, there is a part telling you, you have to, you are responsible to make sure your windows is clean. And as well, the, the lights, yeah. Your braking lights, your signal lights, it, it, you need to be clean. Especially when uh, uh, you need to, to, to take off the snow from them. You must wear a seat belt. Mm, children... I'm sure it's just somewhere here. I need just to Google it. It's more easier, yeah? Sunlight makes view better or effect? Better. Uh, you can echo. Uh, you can make a screenshot, but I need to stand up for that. <laughs> What's that? I keep touching it. I missed it up. There you go. The one on the top is really important to understand. You can't insure your car before be without a MOT and you can tax your car without an insurance. 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 Okay. Stop. <sighs> Sunlight. Uh, I'm sure there is information about it in the in the highway code book. Just type it. Yeah, I don't have uh, my phone is off today. Okay, guys, I need to go. Thank you for please have. Uh, thank you for being watching me. I just I just want to know who is here struggling with passing your theory test. I come every day between five and seven. And as well, uh, morning time between sometimes between nine and eleven. It depends, and l uh, late night as well. Who is here struggling to pass the theory test, guys? You, your is t tomorrow, uh, Bella. I wish you good luck. Just keep uh, positive. Yeah, you can do it. Just by watching me tonight, you you cover a lot of question. Uh, me, Haria, uh, users, uh, uh, yeah, me, good luck, sister. Uh, guys, don't stress yourself anymore about your test. If you find my explanation helpful, the course is all what you need, guys. It, it's it's there linked in my bio. If you got if you got any question about the course, you still can text me on my Instagram. Night time, I come between half past ten to half past eleven, maybe to twelve. Uh, I always watched you. Uh, I learned. Uh, I know. I know a lot of people uh, coming, but I wish you come back tomorrow and say I'm gonna wait for you. Obviously, tomorrow on my life tomorrow I will try to check. Uh, you come and join me if you pass. 
to tell me the good news. I know Horia, yeah. We got busy with the kids. We got busy, busy with the house. And can you teach tomorrow motorway? Uh, Ako, I will tomorrow, yeah. Motorway, motorway rules, you mean? I, I've done it many times, motorway rules. It's just a bit about new people the joining me. They just start revising. I can't. Um, I I cover easy question and time to time hard question. I have exams soon. I'm practicing every day. Just keep practicing, Horia. Yeah. Don't overthink on it and just do do what you have to do. Uh, practice the question topic by topic. Yeah. I show you how many topic you need to cover. Obviously, your theory test is soon. You need you might by now you need to know that there are is uh, organized. The question are organized by section. Yeah, I advise you to start with road and traffic signs, road and traffic signs section because you uh, by watch uh, by um, doing that section you gonna cover all the signs, road markings. Uh, warning signs, uh, motorway signs, yeah, you need to start with that, then try the, the question topic by topic. Once you get in like, once you cover all the topic, then try mock test, yeah, you try mock test every day until I get, you get like 49, 48, 50, so if you start getting the marks, that means you cover everything already. If you start getting 50 and 50 every time you, you're doing the mock test, that means you cover all the questions. Then, then uh, yeah, you, you can be ready at that time. You are ready for the test. I will try. I will try. Okay. Okay, guys, I need to go. Wish you good luck, all of you. It's getting late and uh, see you tomorrow, yeah? I try to cover motorway rules, yeah? 45 uh, to 47 is not quite enough, Horia. What does mean 45 and 47? 45, that means you miss five questions. You don't know them. You don't know the answer. You are not quite sure about the answer. That means if you miss five questions in this mock test, another five questions, that's 10. Another 30 questions. So you end up by missing a lot of questions, but you don't know, yeah? So you need to get 50. I don't want to be like uh, straight with you or uh, stacked with you or uh, uh, making you feeling very down about it, but you need to get 50. Once you're getting 50 out of 50, that means you cover everything. I uh, handled a best out of a best. I remember you. Have you done it again, or is it another part? Congratulations for for passing that. It's not easy, you know. So obviously you're gonna be a driver instructor in uh, sooner, yeah. Mock test. Uh, Thank you guys. I need to go. I'm really, uh, I'm really tired. Congratulations for for the people passed today. For the people having theory test tomorrow. I wish you good luck and uh, yeah, come back with the good news, guys. I've got real one on this Saturday theory one. Oh, theory one. I wish you good luck, Abbas. Inshallah, you will pass. Once you put in, uh, something in your mind, just work for it. Allah will help you. Trust me. Even you do one single effort, like a small effort, you think it's not enough, but with the help of Allah, it will make it happen. Just have a good niya, have a good, uh, like tawakkul, 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 you know, and uh, do what you have to do. Then Allah will help you. Okay? Okay, guys, bye, bye. I mean, I mean, I mean. Bye, guys. Uh, make dua for me as well. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.